Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Ryan Stunkel from Blip Sounds, and today we have an exciting collaboration between myself and PigDev, who is an awesome game developer YouTuber uh, who focuses a lot on open source material and the Godot engine. And this video here, you are going to see myself creating some sounds from scratch with some stuff like a carrot, a piece of ham, and a door. Uh, it's a very interesting process for creating sound effects. So if you're from Pig Dev's video, welcome. But if you haven't seen Pig Dev's video yet, go check out the top comment and click on the video that he made where him and I talk about audio in the Godot engine and we go through the process of integrating the sounds that I made for his game, Kitchen Tales. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. The Goto engine has a lot of audio capability that I didn't realize it had. And yeah, I think that you guys will learn a lot from it as well. I just want to say one quick thing. In this video, I was making the sounds initially for the main character Pig in the game. And it turns out that it worked a lot better to use those sounds for the tomato character. So we just rolled with it and said, hey, this is going to work really well. And it turned out to be a really awesome video on his channel. So just want to let you guys know if there's any confusion there. Uh, while you guys are watching this video. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and please check out PigDev in the description below. And if you guys are looking to pick up some more sound design tricks that I'm showing off in this video, go to the free course in the description below and you will get to learn a whole bunch of stuff like Reaper and you also get a bunch of free sounds with it too. So I think it's really valuable for you all. Anyways, enjoy the video everyone. He also has a video where he's going to show off how he integrates the sounds that we're going to be making here for his game, Kitchen Tales. And for this video, though, we're going to be making the dash sound and the jump sound. And if you guys want to learn some of the principles we're going over in this video, I highly recommend you go to the description below to check out the free course where we teach you how to use Reaper, which is the DAW that I'll be using today. Anyways, uh, why don't we go ahead and start by listening to our source recordings. The very first one that I have is this door squeak sound. The door squeak I recorded because I kind of felt like the aesthetic of the game was very charming and also very minimalistic at the same time using uh, simple shapes and colors. So I wanted to make the sound design equate to that. I wanted to make it also quite simple. Uh, but I wanted to challenge myself as well. So in the theme of Kitchen Tales, I decided to record ham and a carrot. Uh, for some of the sounds. Uh, the ham is going to be used for the uh, damage sound. We're going to make that damage. And the carrot, we're going to use that for the dash. And then we also have a jump sound that we want to make. Let's see. We want to add a dash sound. The dash sound I recorded, I think we're going to use another door squeak as well. The problem with this door squeak sound is that it's very prominent. I, I don't. I want it to be low key. I don't want it to be too in your face. So we're going to have to figure out a way to make that uh, less abrupt. For this, we're going to add a pitch shifter to this carrot sound. We're going to use some automation, and we're going to have this rise in pitch a little bit. And let's have it have like a just the tiniest bit of an increase at the end. There, that should work. Um, and while we're at it, let's layer in our door squeak sound. <laughs> This actually has a natural pitch element to it, but, but it's going downwards in pitch. So to fix that, I'm going to do a control R. Yeah, that should sound better. We're going to see how this goes. The door sound is proving to be a little bit difficult, potentially. I like it, and I think it layers in really nicely with the rest of the sound. I think if we're going to use it, we're going to use it something like this. We'll see how that goes. And just do some variations for this sound as well. You know what, that's going to work. I'm not going to use the uh, door squeak sound as much as I want to. It just, I feel like it's not really suited for this. Cool. That, that'll that work. I like that. Um, I want to add like a little bit of an impact. I'm going to duplicate this entire track and I'm going to reuse the same effects that we had before. Let's just loop this and listen to it. it sounds like a good kick drum. That's cool. My goal is that I want to make it the uh, dash feel a little bit more impactful. And that definitely did it. It makes it feel a little bit more punchy and like it's being thrown in your face. Let's just try to get a different ham sound out of this. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that. Only in sound design will you ever say, I need a better ham sound. And we're going to select other areas for our other ham sounds. Okay, let's see how all this sounds. 
tool. I like that. Yeah, that should work pretty well. I, I really just want to try and make this door sound work, to be honest. I think instead of like trying to make it a longer, a longer sound, I think I'm going to try just making it a really short sound to layer in with the ham. Something like that. And I'm going to make the transient on the attack a little bit slower. I think that might work. Let's find a different area of this. Yeah, that's that should be good. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to add an EQ to the parent track here. I think I just want to like cut out the 8K range. Just to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, that should work. I just want it to be clean and punchy. Cool. And then our last one is our jump sound. And for this jump sound, I'm going to use the squeak again. Sometimes you make sounds for games, and uh, sometimes they don't work exactly as intended, but they can work for other sounds that exist. Yeah, you know, I think we might have used this a couple times. Let's try a different one. Let's go with this and see if we can make this work. We're just going to use our pitch shifter here, and I'm going to make it rise in pitch, kind of like a Mario jump. I want this to be real subtle. I don't want this to be standing out at all. Oh, whoops. Uh, we added this to uh, the master. We do not want that. There we go. And yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, let's add some EQ. I think that'll work. I'm going to extend this just a tiny bit. Cool. And let's copy that exact one, but we are going to use this one here. And we're going to kind of do the same thing as before, like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one might just go down and pitch on its own. So I'm going to reverse it and utilize the upper momentum of the pitch shifter. And yeah, let's go like that. It's not turning out how I had hoped. I'm going to use it. Let's try reversing it one more time. I really want to try and make this work. Let's try like that. <laughs> yeah, sounds okay. Let's try extending it a little bit. Yeah, I think we want it to be a little bit faster than that too, so. And let's just raise this and pitch a little bit more. I want this to be faster too. There we go. Just lower it and pitch a tiny bit more. I like how simple and subtle this sounds, but this one here is a little bit more prominent, and I think it's because of the way it's EQ'd. And I also want it to go up faster. There we go. We, we got it. I wish I could explain my process there. It was just a little bit more playing around and finding the right spot than anything. And now let's do one more. Yeah, let's, let's do one of these. And is that because of the pitch shifter? It sure is. Let's try and make this as drastic as possible. It's a little short, so we're going to extend it a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so we got, the, we got the length and the distance on it. Now we just need the pitch. A little bit more. Lift this EQ up a little bit. There's like a weird sound inside of this one that I'm not liking. This jump sound is a lot harder than I thought it would be. It's part of the process, though. Nice. So I think the, the last thing, we just want the transient on the uh, attack of this jump sound to be a little bit faster. And just a tiny bit higher pitched. There we go. Perfect. And just a tiny bit shorter. Awesome. Great. We did it. So that's all of our sounds, actually. I'm going to do a quick review to make sure that they're all good and they're all sounding pretty okay. So the jump. The dash sound. Hmm. I'm going to add some distortion to uh, this carrot fuzz sound. It just makes it a little bit more noisy. And the noise will allow us to fill out the frequency spectrum just a tiny bit more. Clean and simple is kind of the way that I feel this game should be, then I think maybe... Nice, I think that'll work. 
the little squeaks just add a little bit more personality to all of the sounds and it kind of creates a through line through all the sounds as well. Cool, so I think we're done. Thanks so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see how these sounds make it into the Goto engine and the whole audio capabilities of the Goto engine, then go to the top comment below and you can check out Pig Dev's video. He has some really awesome stuff and I can't recommend his channel enough. And if you guys are looking to learn some more sound design, go to the free course in the description below and we teach a lot of the tricks that we use in this video that you saw today. So anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.